Working on a personal project, I stumbled across the Adafruit Feather line. These are a set of development boards and shields with small form factor. At the heart of this unboxing is the Feather M0 with a long range radio module that communicates over a frequency of 900 megahertz, legal in America. The microcontroller found on this Feather is an Atmel ARM Cortex M0 processor clocked at 48 megahertz with 3.3 volt logic. Let me explain. A central processing unit or CPU runs at a specific frequency. The PlayStation 1 that I had as a kid, for example, uses a CPU clocked at 33 megahertz, and this sucker has 48. Hopefully, 256K of flash and 32K of RAM is enough to handle what I need to transmit and receive. For the remainder of this video, I am going to document the process of working through the Feather M0 Out of Fruit tutorial by Lady Ada. There are two antenna options. The first and simplest option is to use the antenna pad here. For 915 megahertz frequency, the wire should be 3 inches or 7.8 centimeters. Solder and you're done. I chose the second option. On the bottom of the feather are three pads, two for ground and one for signal. These pads match up to the UFL connector. This should provide more range than the former option, but at a cost of being more delicate. This was my first experience soldering a connector this small, so it looks atrocious, but you will see that it works in the end. If you don't already have the Arduino IDE, you will need to grab this from the link below. The first task is to install the appropriate board managers. This is done by traveling to Arduino's Preferences tab. Towards the bottom of this window is a text box seeking additional board manager URLs. Paste this link. It is also provided below. Click OK to save this. Now let's go to Tools, Board, Board Manager. Search for Arduino Sam D and install. Now search for Adafruit Sam D and install this as well. Once the installation is complete, close this window and restart Arduino. When you load back into Arduino, select Tools, Board, and find the Adafruit Feather M0. Let's plug the Feather in for the first time. In Arduino, select Tools again. This time go to Port and make sure the Adafruit Feather M0 is selected. You can grab a simple blink sketch from File, Examples, Basics, Blink. In order to blink the onboard LED at a certain rate, you must change the pin number to 13 and adjust the delay value. I chose to solder headers for prototyping purposes. However, if I knew exactly how I was going to use this microcontroller, I would just direct solder to these pins and save space. Download the Radiohead library. Drag the Radiohead folder from the Downloads to the Arduino Libraries folder. If a Libraries folder does not currently exist, you will need to make one. I have two Arduino applications. To avoid confusion, I am naming these applications Feather TX for the transmitter and Feather RX for the receiver. I have already prepared two sketches that Adafruit provides in separate folders on my desktop named appropriately. In an effort to keep things organized, I have labeled one antenna TX. In Arduino, select Tools, Port, and at this point, you should only have one feather plugged in, so choose that one. When you plug the RX feather in, make sure you go to the appropriate Arduino application, select Tools, Port, and select the new feather. As you may have noticed, they have different numbers associated with them. Now open the serial monitor for both the receiver and the transmitter, and witness a glorious opportunity for some cool projects.